Today, we're back with more Fortnite, and we've got a couple things we're going to be doing in today's video. Trying to find some cool loot drops, but first and foremost, I want to talk about this crossbow, because I think it might actually be pretty good. The, the roll that I got was reload, stability, headshot, headshot. The impact is insane. This is the amount of force that will be done to the enemy, if you guys don't know what impact is. And uh, it means that, like, you can stagger enemies, like, pretty easily. 1,400 the damage. The one-shot the one shot damage is pretty crazy. Four mag size. It's a single shot. It's like a sniper rifle. And I'm really curious to see what this thing can do. I leveled it up for the, whole, for the sake of this video just to see what happens. Oh, we just killed two at one time right there. Um, and then I also leveled up my Dragon's Roar a little bit as well, because I think my Dragon's Roar is going to be one that I'm going to use for a long time until I get really, until I get a really good roll, because so far I haven't really got anything too great in terms of Assault Rifle. Um, so, we are back in the game. We're going to be searching, doing some of the uh, Blockbuster stuff as time goes on, but the main point is to try to find some really good bosses and to see if we can get some loot drops because I have to imagine that we are able to get some really good stuff as well as look for some schematics because if you guys don't know uh, the game updated the 4.0 and in the 4.0 update there uh, one of the things that was added was the ability to find loot drops in oh here we go look at this meteor find loot drops in um, various different bosses and enemies as well as chess and then not only that, but you get loot drops from random enemy opponents. All right, we've got a mist monster right behind us. Now, I'm I'm really concerned that this isn't going to do as much damage as I would really like. Yeah, it doesn't really do like an insane amount of damage, but uh, it definitely staggers them, at least. Oh, there we go. We got a headshot on them right there. So that, I, I just wasn't getting headshots. So it's definitely sniper rifle. We need to get headshots. Oh, 7,000 damage. Okay, so perhaps it is actually really good, but we definitely need to get headshot damage on it. Okay, so it said that the enemies that spawn in like this, that kind of walk through, oh, they uh, have a chance of giving you more loot. And so these are the ones that you want to try to attack and see if you can get loot from them. So we're going to see if we can... He's not... Turn around, dude. Shot him in the butt. So did anybody, did any of them drop anything? I did get some ammo from like a little tiny one. Uh, no loot with any of those. So here we go. I just killed uh, one of these flingers and they dropped a, dropped some batteries. I mean, I think, here we go. Yeah, look. So we're getting some battery drops and things like that. Um, some different ingredients and whatnot. I wonder how many I get from each one. I have no idea. So you can get some 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 drops from them, but it doesn't seem like it's like anything too amazing. It just seems like some basic stuff. We definitely can do some serious damage. Uh, getting using the crossbow. Let's see if we can get anything to drop from these guys. Yeah, there we go. Some crafting ingredients. So ju some just some basic stuff. Oh, we got an epic boss here. Oh, what did he drop? We got a whole bunch of stuff there. Some evolution materials cache. Sweet! Special materials cache. That is awesome to see. So this this crossbow is fairly good, but I just don't like how uh, how slow the reload is. I mean, it's, it's nice for those single shots, but it's definitely got its drawbacks. But look at, look at that. 7,000 damage if we hit a headshot. Like, that's pretty significant, but... It's definitely very sniperish. It's very limited, limited amount of uh, shots that you can get going on, which is very unfortunate. Got a smasher coming in. You can just—I mean, look at how much faster we can just mow them down with, like, you know, something else. It's nice, but it definitely, definitely has its drawbacks. That's for sure. Okay, so here it is at the end of the uh, mission. We've got the evolution cache right here. Let's go ahead and open all this stuff and see what's in this because I have no idea what is actually in this thing. This is my first time opening this, so I'm super excited to uh, check it out. We got some special currency, some gold there. Let's see. Some V-Bucks. Yeah, for the V-Bucks. Yeah, for the V-Bucks. All right, here we go. 65 of those. Let's let's find out guys here. What is in this evolution materials cache? So just uh, evolution mat. So we got some lightning in a bottle. That's all we got from that 
So that's pretty cool though that you can find that type of thing in game. Uh, really exciting to see. All right, here's a uh, here's one of the blockbuster husks. He drops some chrome data. Must be for somebody else. So what does he do? What's he gonna do here? He's back up. He's like made of metal. We knocked him down and he got back up again. He's back up again. How the heck do you take this thing out? What the heck? How does this guy... How do you take this dude out? So we, no we knocked him down again. He's not dead yet. He won't die. He just keeps getting back up. Interesting. So he's a made he's made out of metal. He's getting stronger with every time we hit we take him out, I think. Yeah, he's definitely getting stronger. There he goes. We fin I finally took him out. We got a boss right here. Wow, this is insane. I want to stick by so I can see if I can get some of that see whatever he get whatever he, he drops. I don't know what I just got, but I just grabbed everything. We're about to find out at the end of this match what we get. Okay, so I don't actually think that, like, you can swipe those things from other people because I think it says, like, Intax whatever. So you notice, like, there were multiple things that dropped, but I couldn't pick up the other things. I could only pick this thing up. And so uh, I don't think I can, I don't think you can swipe things from other people as far as I can tell. Uh, maybe you can, but I don't think you can. So I, I did a lot of things in this mission. Holy smokes. We were playing with like a lot of like a lot higher people and we were in a uh, higher power score match, I think. So we did the first it came from space meteorite thing. We got some more blockbuster tickets. Ah, we day, did the resist finally. To Took forever. Uh, just because I didn't prioritize it. Mission alert rewards. Got some more tickets and some and some V-Bucks. And then this is a rare schematic cache. Let's see. Well, we get in it now. It's just gonna be a rare, obviously, but uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out. Hopefully, it'll be yeah, nothing good. So we got. So you can actually get a schematic from matches now. That is really freaking cool. That's awesome. So free, free schematics that you can get sometimes from game. All right, so let's go ahead and open one of the Blockbuster Llamas since we uh, got some tickets for that. Hopefully, we'll get something good, some of the new stuff maybe. I've pretty much got all of the new things already. And so, there's not, I mean, short of the heroes, there's not really anything else I can get. I think I got most of the weapons, uh, but I, I just need the heroes. Actually, I'd love to get one of those legendary deagles because I would, oh, sweet. Nice. We got the piercing uh, Lotus Luna. This is the legendary ninja. So, let's go ahead and check her out and see what she's like dude she looks awesome oh yeah so she is a piercing lotus Nit luna um shinobi throwing stars mantis leap corrosive stars poking holes um it's unfortunate that i don't like i don't really like the shurikens smoke bomb shadow stance now you see me Pointy Fury, Spear Combo Attack Efficiency, Crescent, Crescent Kit, which is like the worst one, Piercing Stars, Fan of Stars. Yeah, I mean, not for me. Not for me at all. Um, not not in my play style one bit. I don't like, I, I use them occasionally, but not too often. So we've got Double Agent Vaughn, Demolitionist Bull, uh, Piercing Lotus Luna, and then Shotgunner Buzz. So we just got done doing the mini boss quest where you have to destroy an epic mini boss and my goodness we fought a not just a regular mini boss but a shielded mini boss that was one of the new blockbusters and it was ridiculously hard but we got an insane amount of stuff we almost lost the mission because it was destroying all the walls and doing damage to uh to the van it was crazy so this mission could potentially you could run into a really crazy boss in that mission so you definitely need to be on the lookout for that it was insane but as you can see i've i just did a ton of stuff 
So we get another evolution materials cache. I also got a rare schematic uh, in the last mission. Pretty cool stuff, let me tell you. All right, so they say that you can get schematics out of like top tier chests. So let's see if we get one out of this. Curious to know. There it is right there. So yeah, if you find the high level chests, you can definitely get schematics out of them. So be on the lookout. If you guys don't know, easiest places to find chests are on top of, top of buildings, on top of big like uh, land platforms, things like that. You can usually find chests all over the place. There's usually tons of them on the level. You just gotta just gotta take some time and look around. So it looks like there's a lot of things that we can get from this update. Some pretty cool things: heroes, weapons, the schematics, the loot drops are really cool. I like that, and I really hope that I can get some really good stuff uh, as time goes on. Hope you guys are enjoying things. If you find something great in a drop, comment that below and tell me what you got because I'd love to hear it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.